So this is the chart of Google. And again, what we see here is the drop on earnings yesterday after hours. The stock is trading down after closing around 139 yesterday. We're now down at about 130 and a half. Now, for me as a technician, I'm going to walk you through the process of how I analyze this to see if there's any trades for today's action. So right off the bat, I say, okay, it's trading around $130. Now I flip to the next bigger time frame, and that's going to be the daily chart. Now when we look at the daily chart, what we see very clearly here is a trend line, right? There's a trend line here that goes from this point all the way through these lows here and right through here and right there. Now obviously what we're seeing here is this is around 132. So as of now, we've broken below pre-market. So that gives me a general sense that at least on a bigger time frame, this could be a bigger breakdown in Google. Now, it doesn't tell me about day trades. This is more just getting a sense and saying, okay, what is the overall picture on this chart? Is it still gonna hold support on a bigger time frame, or is it gonna break? And right now, based on where it's trading, and we'll have to see at the end of the day, but right now, this is looking like it may break key support. Now, on the bigger time frame, that's gonna take us down to some key levels. Eventually, it is possible to go all the way down to this level, okay? We're talking about the $100 even number. Now, you might say, holy cow, that's a massive move, but if we go to our weekly chart, and we flip over to that, look at this. So that this is the same trend line we were just looking at, right? With a potential break point. But now we zoom out on the chart and we go to this point here and we say, wow, look at that point. This is again from the COVID lows. So now you connect that and it connects perfectly through this low, through this low, through this low. And what this does is it gives us a general idea on a swing trade basis where this would start to look interesting, maybe even an investment basis. All right. So again, if we're breaking here and we're moving down here, here's 130 right here. So this would be where we are right now on a bigger time frame, on a swing trade time frame. For me, I am not saying to myself, wow, this is a great swing trade on Google. In fact, I'm saying this could be the beginning of a bigger decline that could take us down to the $100 even number. Now, interestingly enough, that $100 even number, if you look at that upsloping trend line, notice these highs right through here, right? If we just bring those out, it's essentially at the same level. So if in the next couple months, Google were to flush from this level here down to 100 bucks, even number, upsloping trend line, flat top area of support, that would now give me a basis for a swing trade. Now that's the first thing. The second thing is, well, what about a day trade? What about a short-term day trade? And what we do is now we flip back to the, in, the daily chart. And the reason I'm at the daily is because I wanna kinda look for key levels. So number one, I see that we're again, down here, here's $130 right here. That's where we're trading at this point. So you do have some key support. Notice this high, this high, these highs right through here. So this would be what I would classify as a high risk level, meaning that the probabilities are okay for a bounce here, but again, it's taking on more risk, meaning it's like 60, 40, 55, 45, because if I draw a trend line through that area, essentially it gives us $128. So first technical support, $128. Now, again, that's the higher risk level. Now, if we look further down, what gets my attention? Well, I see there's a gap here. All right, I'm going to erase those other lines so we can really follow through. So see right here, there's a gap, and the gap fill is right here. Now, if I take a look on my chart, that gap fill is at $122.35. So again, if we drag that trend line across, 122 122.25 approximately. That to me gets more interesting today. And the reason it is, number one, gaps are major. Also look at all this sideways chop in here. That's all gonna be technical support. And also we know that if it gets down to 122 and a quarter, that's a huge sell off. So again, the bigger a quality name sells off intraday, like a rubber band, you're pulling a rubber band, what do you guys think is going to happen? If you let go at a key level, it's going to snap back, right? And essentially, that's the idea here, is if you come down into that level, right, and it's that oversold on an intraday basis, you should get some sort of snapback for a couple dollars. So for me at least, that is the level that I would say would be the higher reward level as a day trade. 
not as a swing trade. Remember, we discussed down here is the swing trade level. This, to me, is the high reward, lower, and I say lower because everything has risks, but lower day tradable level. Now, again, for those of you that are cowboys out there, you want to try the 128 level? It might work. It might work. But for me, I'm a little bit more conservative. I'm going to wait on that. All right. All right. So basically, guys, just to be clear, you just got down a rundown of everything I do when I analyze a move that is occurring, a big move. And that's for Google, that's actually a pretty big move. So that was the steps I take for day trading and for swing trading. You saw it right there. This is something that is a, I've acquired over time. I teach it in the Winning Trader Series at verifiedinvesting.com. All right.